Kenzie, for someone your age, you look very young. Thank you for coming out today, Luke. You think that I look young for my age? Well, thank you so much for saying that. I can tell that a lot of people your age are getting married and having kids now. And by the way you are acting today, I can see you really are wanting to get married to my son. You have taken really good care of your figure and everything, so be assured that you will get a husband soon enough. I'm sure the figure alone was enough to get my son's attention. Um, I... I do agree that a lot of people my age are getting married now and have kids of their own. But please don't think that I'm dying to get married or anything and that that's my reason for seeming so excited today. Well, no, wait. I am excited, don't get me wrong. It's just that I'm excited to be with Isaiah. Was today not about your guy's marriage, though? I'm sure you are acting like that because you very well understand that without my permission, my son will not be allowed to marry you, right? <laughs> Today was about us getting married. Isaiah had been asking to meet my dad and everything before we went any further with talks about marriage, and so that's why we all set this date up for you all. Both Isaiah and I already love one another a lot, and wanted to make sure that we knew one another's parents as well. Alright, you don't have to keep playing dumb here, Kenzie. I understand that you want to marry my son and all. But you can't keep talking like you know everything, or else you're going to ruin your image. Us men, like women who are a bit on the stupid side, and talk as though they don't really know anything. Um, are you sure it's okay to say something like that to me? We're in a new century now, and that means it's probably best that you refrain from saying things like that about women. Hmm. Kinsey, you seem to think really highly of yourself. You are aware that I'm going to be your future husband's father, right? I think it's best that you keep your mouth shut a little more often from now on. Things like that. I see. You're not going to really listen to me then, are you? If that's going to be the case here, then I'll make it my personal job to set you straight. Next time, let's make sure you and I have a chance to talk to one another, one-on-one. -on -one. I'll make sure to get us a private room and everything to talk in, if you'd like. This meeting will be very important to me, as I make sure to retrain you from head to toe. What? You want it to just be you and I meeting next time? So you don't want for Isaiah to be there with us, or anything? If Isaiah is there with us, he'll try and defend you. And then I won't be able to teach you how to be a proper woman around my family. But, Luke... Don't worry, I'll make sure to pay for your meal as well if we go out to eat. <laughs> Make sure to wear a short skirt, and be very excited to see me when the day comes. If you can do that for me, then I'll buy you whatever food and drink you like. <laughs> Stop that, please. You actually think saying things like that to me, of all people, is okay? I'm sorry, but you need to stop yourself right there. Kenzie... Do you have any idea how old you are? If you are not able to please men right now, then your chances of ever being married to someone will grow more and more slim. <laughs> I think it's time you started to listen to your fiancé's father, so that you don't let this chance at marriage slip away from you. The thing is, though, we're still only engaged. 
and we haven't even made plans for a wedding or anything yet. Then that means you really need to start trying to get on my good side from here on out, right? That clothing you were wearing today was very tight on your body, and I could make out all your shapes as you sat there in front of me. From the moment I saw you, I knew that I was into your style, Kenzie. So as long as you keep things going with me, then I'll make sure to let you continue seeing my son. <laughs> um, what are you talking about right now? I really don't like the things you're saying to me right now, so please stop. That is not the way you should be speaking with your son's girlfriend, Luke. And that's something I'm going to have to teach you about as well now. In the future, you are going to be a part of my family, and will be making children with my son. And I need to make sure that you are worthy of making children with my son at all. <laughs> you should be aware of just how important it is for my son to be pleased as a man, right? I'm sorry, but that is far enough. I'm going to have to leave now. Isaiah, thank you for coming out today. But, um, regarding your father, there are some things that don't feel quite right to me. What was that? Did he say or do some pretty weird things to you today? From my point of view, it seemed that my dad was really into you. And that's a really good thing for our future together. Really into me? You think so? Yes, I do. By the time you had to leave, it felt that we were all a lot closer to one another. And when I told him about the work you're doing for a living right now, he seemed really impressed by you. I'm sure he was, but, um, Isaiah, I kind of feel that things are a little too close between your father and I now. When you went to the restroom and things like that, your father... He would look at me in a completely different way. Who? Oh. <laughs> I think you're just being delusional about things. <laughs> you really think that my dad would be willing to act that way around his son's girlfriend? Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kenzie, but if you keep saying things like that, then I'm going to get a little upset with you next. No, I... I don't think I'm being delusional or anything about it. On the way out of there, your father kind of brushed his hand against my butt. When he did that, things in my head really changed, and I didn't feel comfortable at all with how things were going. Huh? <laughs> what are you going on about? <laughs> my dad has always been a very good guy with the ladies. You think him giving you a little touch on the butt means that he has feelings for you or something? Oh. <laughs> um, then let me ask you this. What was the reason again for your mother and father getting a divorce? I know that from time to time my dad could get a little carried away with himself around my mom. But my mom would always leave me at home all alone to go do her own things. So when you compare her to what little my dad was doing, my dad looks like a really good guy. He also allowed me to join the company I'm a part of now, so I have much respect for him. And that's what I heard from you, which made me think he was a very kind man. But today he went and intentionally touched your girlfriend. You don't find any of that to be really strange? And like I was saying, you're being very delusional about things. What does it matter that he touched your butt? There's nothing wrong with that. Back when you were a kid, were you never spanked or anything? <laughs> I grew up always being spanked by him, and that's what turned me into the man I am now. <laughs> I'm not talking about spanking. 
The way he laid his hand on my butt then, it was nothing like a little slap or anything. Also, he was just asking me over text if next time just he and I could go out to eat. I asked him why he would want to do that and why he wanted to meet in a private room. That's just how much my dad is into you, right? What is going on with you? You think that he's going to start touching you more if you go to that private dinner with him or something? He would never do something like that to a woman your age, so calm down already. I never said he'd do something like that. It's just, as a woman, being in a one-on-one -on -one situation with my boyfriend's father after he said all that to me already doesn't make me feel all right. I can't relax at all thinking about it. I don't even understand why he wants only me to be there with him. He said it was to keep you from protecting me, but him saying things like that only make me feel worse about the whole situation. Hey, hey, hey. Seriously? I never thought you were the type of woman to get so worked up by that. Let me ask you this. What kind of environment were you raised in by your parents? Wait, didn't you tell me that your dad graduated from a well-known university? Is that what I told you before? Because my father never went to college or anything. He didn't even finish high school. But he put in a lot of hard work and made his way up to the top and is someone that I respect a lot. I want you to meet with him next time, all right? What? Hey, are you kidding me? Well, that has nothing to do with me, so whatever. What? You just told me your dad never even graduated from high school. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> what you said just caught me off guard there a little is all. But once you and I are married, you will be entering my family. So your dad is never really going to have anything to do with me. <laughs> hey, when you said something like what my father did was crazy, did you mean that in a good way or a bad way? Please don't tell me you look down on him for having to drop out of high school. I never said I was looking down on him for that. Oh, <laughs> But considering that I've gone to college and I'm on my way to becoming an elite, I've never had the chance to meet up with a high school dropout. <laughs> I thought people like that didn't even exist, to be honest with you. <laughs> the way you say that, it makes me feel as though you do look down on him. You graduate from college as well, right? So you understand what I'm saying here. Well, whatever. For right now, just make sure not to make any drama about my dad, alright? Now, I have to go out for some drinks, and I'll be using the company's money to do so. <laughs> I don't think you should just be saying something like that, Isaiah. Especially when it has to do with the company's money. You'd think I would allow a wedding between a high school dropout's girl and my elite son? If you're going to become upset by what I have to say, then you be upset with your failure of a father. <laughs> there is no way someone like you just went and splashed that hot coffee all over the place. I had to go to the hospital to get treatment for all these second-degree burns, and luckily the doctors and nurses were able to take care of it all right away. But they're saying there will be scars left over from all the burns. Which means now I'll have scarring on my left arm, my left leg, and my neck because of you. What the hell is wrong with you, you brute? I want to ask that about you. How dare you hide the fact that your father is a dropout from my son and I? and make your move to try and marry my son. I wasn't trying to hide anything. I was never asked about my father, so I never thought about talking about his education. It seems that the only ones who care so much about people's educations are you guys. If that's always been the case with you both, then you should have asked from the very start about things like that. You expect me to believe that in this day and age, there are still people that never finished high school or went to college. Jeez, such a sad family who has raised you. 
and thinking about the way you said no to my invitation. <laughs> I can't believe it. If anything, isn't that the biggest problem to you right now? This has nothing to do with my father's education, but with the fact that I said no to my boyfriend's father's advances. And if that is my problem with you, then the fact you understand that I'd have a problem with it means you did say no to me on purpose. You have no idea what you're doing right now, huh? <laughs> well, now you've gone and poked the bear and are going to be in a real treat now. <laughs> Nobody beneath me is going to overlook what I say. <laughs> what did you say? You are from a family of lowlifes, trying to enter my family of elites. And by doing so, you are trying to take advantage of my son's income, so that you never have to work another day day in your life. I'm sure a life like that is exactly what you're after, because you would be set forever, right? <laughs> well, if that's the life you want to get, then you're going to need to try harder to get on my good side. Ha! You need to stop speaking about my family like that, please. There is no reason to be talking down about them. Still trying to act all tough, are we? <laughs> I have no other choice then. I'll have to do something that'll open up those pretty eyes of yours. You are still in your twenties, right? Just barely? Well then, you need to listen to everything I say to you. If you can do that, I will let you marry my son. <laughs> What else do you have to say? You're going to have to provide some services to your fiancé's father now. You'd better be happy that you're still considered young. If you're in your thirties now, I would never be giving you this kind of a chance. <laughs> Does this mean you want me to meet with you in a private room, one-on-one? -on -one? There you're going to be doing things to me like you did before, touching my butt and the like? That's something I'll need to do with you? Hey, hey, hey. Don't start getting too far ahead of yourself there. You're on the verge of becoming an old hag, with only a few months left before that really does happen. You should be more happy about a man like myself touching your butt. <laughs> Start to be appreciative of the fact that I find you attractive still. <laughs> you really are screwed up. Who the hell do you think would ever want to go into a private room with an old fat man like yourself and let you feel them up? Start realizing just how disgusting you are before you ever talk like that old man. Excuse me, Kenzie. Do you understand what position you're in right now? I have given you a chance to stay with my son, and you're going to talk back to me like that? Well then, this means you've really gone and tied the knot around your neck. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, little girl. <laughs> you can't even compare yourself to me, when I've been around for longer than you, and I've done so much more for the world. No matter what you say to me, you're just going to make yourself sound like more and more of a sore loser. <laughs> we'll have to see about that then. My father happens to be the CEO of your company, so we'll have to see if you can still compare yourself to the likes of him. What? Wait, what was that? I said, my father is the CEO of the company you're working for. And due to all of the very unfortunate things you have said to me, I'll make sure he is fully aware. Expect the worst to come from him after today, so please look forward to it all. Kenzie, you really think such a massive lie as that is going to fool me? Well, you did get me to clench my cheeks there for a second, so I respect you for that. 
<laughs> but your lie is all but believable. A high school dropout like your father becoming a CEO. <laughs> That's a great joke you've told me. <laughs> you think so? Then I'll make sure to let him know you've said that as well. Please be ready for what's to follow, Luke. I just want to say that I'm so very sorry for everything I've done and said. I never once thought that you of all people would turn out to be the daughter of my CEO. I am so terribly sorry for the rude behaviors I had when speaking with you in both person and through text. Ah, so you finally come to understand your place? Well, I'm sure you're already aware of this, but a lot of people within the company are now very upset with you. And that means you are most definitely going to be fired. Hold on a second. I have no idea who you or your father were at the time. I never thought that my CEO would even be a high school dropout. And when I heard that a lot of the other people on the board never went to college and things like that, how could something like that be? Well, as you can see, it can indeed be. And now you've gone and pissed them all off. So how's it going? Did you have fun with all of them in the meeting room? Was it enjoyable hearing all of them talk about the things you were saying to both myself and about my father? It was so embarrassing for me that I couldn't even bear to keep myself from crying. I regret everything that I have done and said from the bottom of my heart. Can you give me an example of what made you so embarrassed that you had to cry? What exactly do you regret doing so much? Hopefully, you'll be able to give me a good example right now of what you've done wrong, right? When... When they started to tell me about how poorly I had been talking about the CEO when I heard he was a high school dropout, and about the way I had used that to try and break things off between you and my son... What else? There's also... There's the part where they started to tell me about the way I behaved with the CEO's daughter, you, in a very inappropriate manner. Were you able to get all of those men on the board to agree with you that because of your age and the generation you're from, that it's okay to go around touching the butts of women half your age and saying that it's okay to do so because that's the only way someone like me would be allowed to marry your son? Please don't say it like that. Don't say what? You were trying to make me understand that, right? If you really want to have your fun with younger women, then perhaps it's better you get yourself a prostitute instead of feeling up the CEO's daughter. As far as the company and myself are aware, what you had done to me, touching my butt like that, is a crime. Sexual assault, one might say. But you're, you're going to become my son's wife. So I thought that as family, it would be alright to do that. How frickin' vile of you to say that. I can't believe there's someone I know who could say such a thing to me. I'm not even a part of your family in the first place, Luke. And if I was, there would still be loads of problems with you touching me. I, um... I guess you have no idea what the punishment is for touching a woman in a sexual way without her consent. It's because of disgusting men like you, who think there's nothing wrong with being monsters around women, that this society is constantly being held back. I... really... I really am so sorry. I didn't think you would be so against me doing that. You didn't think so? <laughs> Have you ever had a look at what you look like recently? It's one thing for a really good-looking man to think something like that, but an old geezer like you thinking I'd be into you touching me up is just hilarious. How childish, really. I think you'd better start getting a grip with the thing you really are and begin to work towards acting like that thing instead. Um, I... I really am so sorry. Of course, now that I've been made aware of things, you are more than welcome to continue moving forward with your marriage to my son. 
And I'm sure the both of you would make a great little family together. Huh? You think things are just going to continue moving forward after what's happened? I am never going to marry your son now, Luke. Why not? You came all the way out to see me and talk about the marriage. The reason for me not wanting to marry him anymore is because my eyes have been opened. When I tried to talk with Isaiah about what was going on with you, he didn't seem bothered by it at all. I could see that he was just as awful as you, and that led to me having a change of heart. Uh, wait, please. Right now, this is all a problem between you and I, right? Your marriage to him shouldn't have anything to do with me, and that's why he might have been a bit dismissive about how you felt about me. But it has a lot to do with the marriage. If I were to marry your son, then I'd have to become family to you. And who knows what you'd do to me then? You don't have to worry about what I'll do anymore. To be frank, I just don't want to become family with something like you. And when I tried talking with Isaiah about what you were doing, he took your side and agreed with your tactics. I was feeling really uncomfortable about you, and yet he made it seem to me like he was okay with that. That's just... He's a lot like his father, is all. I could tell that if I made him my husband, I would be putting myself right in danger's way. And when I told him about how I had been hurt badly by that hot coffee you spilled on me, he seemed to think that was my fault for being in the way. That right there killed what little flame I had left in my heart for him. I'm happy to see that he's not at all like the man I loved before, and that once I became a part of your guys' family, he would not care one bit about my safety. What? By the way, my father is very aware that Isaiah was hired into the company by his criminal dad. So my father will have your son fired as well. Criminal? You're calling me a criminal? Who else would you be? I am so, so, so sorry for what's happened, but you can't say I'm a criminal for what's happened. Please forgive me and let this all be. Not only did you fling hot coffee all over me and give me second degree burns, but you also touched my butt without my consent. I'm going to make sure the police are aware of this, so please allow them to walk you to your new room in hell. <laughs> After that, the police arrived at Luke's house and took him into the police station for questioning. And this led to word about what he had done spreading even deeper into my father's company. Soon after the questioning was over with, though, the police did come back to Luke's house again. And this time, letting him know that he was under arrest and would be taken to court by my father's lawyers. There, he would be charged with both physical and sexual assault against me and would have to serve five years for it. And on top of that, he would also be required to pay me a settlement of around $150,000. For not only the crimes he committed, but also for my medical bills, as I would still have to undergo a few more treatments to help with my burns. Luckily, he had that kind of money in his savings, but after the money came to me, he was pretty much left dry and wouldn't be able to make any money back for the next five years. Isaiah then came to me a day after the court case and started to apologize to me while crying. But when I told him it was no use and that I'd not be marrying him, he ran off. Word about what his father had done and everything was already within the company now. But things were only made worse for Isaiah when I explained to my father about how he'd use company money to go out drinking and things like that. He was fired not too long after his father, and now the both of them can experience the hell they've entered together. This is what those two deserve for never understanding that the way they acted was not acceptable in today's world, and quite illegal in most cases. As for what's happened with me after that whole fiasco, I'm back home living with my mother and father again. I'll be with them for a little while, as I got time off from work so that I could rest and wait for my burns to all heal up. I know this outcome wasn't all that great for me, because I'll always have scarring that will remind me of Luke and Isaiah. But that's a whole lot better than marrying into that family without ever knowing what kind of monsters they really were. <laughs>